biggest problem in our game is player statistics. There isn't enough good training for beginners in the game, and as a result, most players have less than a 50% win rate and an average damage of 1,000 per account. I really want to solve this problem and will do my best to teach you how to play like a pro. I'll give you some very important and useful tips that, when applied, will instantly improve your statistics. Before we begin, I want to warn you that the more battles you have on your account, the harder it will be to improve your statistics. For example, if you already have more than 20,000 battles, it will be very difficult for you to increase even by 1%. I started with a 43% win rate and 800 average damage, but I quickly took matters into my own hands, and by the time I reached 10,000 battles, I had a 54% win rate and 1,400 average damage. Is now my statistics very high and I have something to share with you. I'm Swetchman, let's go! First tip, never go alone on a flank. Even if you're in a heavy tank and the team is heading towards the medium tank flank, you should go with them. Our game is a team game and not like Counter-Strike where you can handle multiple enemies alone. Unless you're Chuck Norris. I often see how some kind of ally goes one to the other flank and quickly dies. Don't be like that, stick with the team. Second tip, don't play on stock tanks. If you've just bought a new tank and want to play it quickly, you should refrain from doing so. Firstly, you'll be disappointed with the tank, and secondly, your performance will suffer. But you might ask me how I can upgrade my tank if I can't play with it. Actually, it's very simple. The game has had fun modes for a long time such as Gravity, Uprising or Big Boss. These modes occur quite often and you won't affect your statistics there while the farming opportunities are often better than in regular battles. You can also use free experience to unlock modules. The first thing you should upgrade on a stock tank is the gun. Once you upgrade it, you can start playing in regular battles. Third tip, don't skimp on tank equipment. You should equip at least three slots of equipment, load all ammunition and carry gold rounds in your ammo loadout. This is crucial. Also don't forget to use camouflage, it plays an important role in battle. I want to make a video on how to properly equip tanks and effectively use equipment to win. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Fourth tip. Frequently look around and keep an eye on the minimap. It often happens that your allied tanks move to another flank leaving you alone and enemies take advantage of that. Another situation is when your teammates are successfully pushing in one direction, but you stay in your position and miss the chance to deal damage. Fifth tip. Don't rush to take positions at the beginning of the battle even if you're in a light tank. It doesn't mean that the centre of the map will be yours. You may arrive at a position but your teammates may decide to leave soon for another flank and you won't be able to follow them because enemies will start shooting at you immediately. Sixth tip. Don't rely on teammates and don't leave low HP enemies for your allies. They might rely on others just like you, and it may ultimately affect the outcome of the battle against you. Always rely on yourself. Seventh tip. Utilize the advantages of your tank and the weaknesses of the enemy tank. If your turret has good armor but your hull has poor armor, you should focus on playing from the turret. Similarly, if you have good armor but low speed, you should stick close to your allies and be on the front line. Eighth tip. Play in a platoon for effective communication. It's a highly efficient method to increase your win rate especially when you have the same class of vehicles. For example, if you're playing with two heavy tanks and can successfully dominate a direction it's better to rely on your platoon mate rather than relying on allies. You can cover each other's backs. Ninth tip. Avoid playing at lower tiers tanks specifically below tier 7. While it may be easier to achieve a high win rate at lower tiers but your average damage will be very low, and average damage is valued more in our game than win rate. I recommend playing at tier 7 or 8 because these levels are played by average skill players, and there are a lot of interesting tanks. And I don't recommend playing tier 9 and 10 tanks because they are more challenging. Additionally, you can play in ranked battles where you won't, affect your overall statistics and can improve your gameplay by facing stronger opponents and playing with skillful players. Tenth and final tip. Play only on good tanks. I often see inexperienced players playing a lot of battles with poor tanks like SU-152 or FV-215B183. That won't help. Improve your statistics. Leave those tanks for other game modes. In the near future, I will release several videos discussing which tanks are worth researching, which tanks are not worth it, 
the best premium tanks to buy for your hangar, proper tanking techniques, and recommended positions on maps to gain an advantage over enemies. Support my efforts with likes and subscriptions as they are the best motivation for me to create new videos. In the description below, I have provided the nicknames of my accounts on the European server. If you're interested, you can check out my statistics. I hope the video has been very helpful to you and I'm confident that you will see progress in your statistics in the near future. Share your statistics in the comments and I guarantee that you will see progress within a month. This is Swetchman, thank you for watching, goodbye.